Hello, and welcome to this edition of Wolves Weekly. I'm joined today by head men's basketball coach, Craig Stanger. Coach, coming off a pair of wins this last weekend at home, Great Northwest Athletic Conference wins nonetheless on that one. Talk to me a little about those and that you guys are rolling right in your season right now. Well, they were big wins. You know, we had an opportunity to come back home after playing two tough games on the road in Montana and Seattle, and, and you have to be able to take care of your home games, and we felt that was important. And, and these are some very good opponents. You know, Simon Fraser didn't have a particularly good record, but they're very explosive, have some of the best guards in the conference, and, and they were a, a big concern. And I felt good about our, uh, our game plan there, and we were able to be successful. And then Western Washington, always a, a perennial power, a, a difficult team for us to battle against. And we came out and showed uh, great resiliency and got after it, and were able to get the win. I'd like to talk to you about both these games really quick, mm -hmm. just kind of some of the uniquenesses that went on there. Simon Frazier. You had an individual with a, had a very good performance that night. We know it's always about a team effort, but Terrence Glenn really stood out that night. He scored a career-high 33 points, grabbed 14 rebounds, his fifth double-double of the season, and in route to that, he actually earned GNAC Player of the Week. Talk to me a little bit about his performance and how he was able to maybe take a bit, utilize on his size and athleticism against that Simon Fraser team. Well, we have several guys that can step up and, and do a job on any given night, and, and that's helping us to be more and more successful because you cannot key on just any one or two individuals. And, and Terrence had an opportunity that night. Uh, he's, he's a very active player, and things were rolling well for him. You know, we didn't realize how many points he had. He just got them through the natural flow of our offense, and, uh, and, and he was doing a very nice job with that. Uh, he is one of the better rebounders, has proven that in conference, and, and that too has been helpful. Uh, he did a particularly good job on the offensive glass as well. Uh, Simon Fraser didn't have quite the post presence that maybe some of the other teams have, and we were able to exploit that by using Terrence and, and his athleticism in, in that uh, forward position. And I know the key to that one always, re out rebounded them by 10. He also got pretty good play from your guard position, and you guys shared the ball really well. I was impressed you guys had 21 assists on 34 baskets. That's a pretty good ratio there. It is, and we're excited to see that. And, and quite honestly, the guys have played very well in the last four, five, six ball games of distributing the ball, playing well together, uh, feeding off of each other, and that's what we're going to have to do to continue to be successful. Well, the success continued a little bit for you on Saturday night as you guys were able to beat Western Washington 84 to 81 in overtime. I, I, I know the overtime there is not exactly what we were hoping to go for, no. but you guys, at the same time, I was very impressed with your resiliency. Um, unfortunately, Western Washington was able to hit a three-point shot with 2.5 seconds left on the clock to send the game to overtime, and actually they even went up over, in overtime a little bit, but you guys fought back, showed resiliency, and battled back for that win. Well, the guys believe in what we're doing and, and in themselves, and, and they're a confident, aggressive team. We felt we had to attack with our guards. We had to make it a 94-foot game. We had to get out and go against their larger size, and, and our guys did a good job of that, and we were able to get to the free throw line. As it came down the stretch uh, and in the overtime period, they just continued to believe that they could get something done. We were able to get a lot of turnovers that game. I, I think that we were able to keep Western Washington off balance for a good portion of the game, and, uh, and that proved effective uh, down the stretch and in the overtime period as well. And you got uh, 23 points out of both Blair Whedon and Kyle Long. Always good to get some scoring punch. And you guys have got some consistent scoring out of there recently. But we actually have a special guest in the studio today. Their other backcourt mate joining us, junior guard Jordan Freelander. How are you doing today, Jordan? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Well, this is Jordan's first season at Western Oregon, and you've already got to see some pretty good success out there. Uh, we'd like to hear a little bit about how you guys were able to, to get that win against Western Washington the other day. Um, just how you guys battled back and always kept the focus in there and never get lost heart or anything in that game. Uh, we played how we need to play. Even, even though they uh, hit the three to go into the overtime, we never felt like we were out of control. Uh, it was just a great game for us to win. And uh, from, from my perspective, watching you guys, the guards played really well in that game. The, um, Western Washington looked like they had a little bit of size advantage and stuff like that, but the Western Oregon guards it seemed like they really dominated that game, forced them into 22 turnovers, and really picked up the tempo of the game. Talk to me a little bit about that one and what you guys try to do and how you guys try to control the tempo of the game. Uh, we, just we just played our game. We didn't change anything. Um, our guards, we, in our zone, we, like, we, need, we need our guards to box out. All five guys need to crash the boards. We did get out-rebounded, but we came up big when we needed to. 
and there was a lot of energy out there, both in the gym. We'll, we'll be right back to Jordan in just a minute out there, but I, I was just very impressed with, you guys got up and down the floor, 84 points might not sound like a lot, but that game was moving early on. Um, it, it was, and uh, you know, Jordan is one of those that really helps us get up and down the floor. He's one of the better full court players that we have, and, and that constant pressure on the defense is what we really try to do. And he's uh, really good at if you know, you're going to take away one angle, he can cut back across you and, and get to the rim. Uh, that has opened up a lot more opportunities for Kyle Long and Blair Whedon. You know, we, we see a lot of the points that they're scoring, but what a lot of people aren't seeing is that Jordan is setting them up through penetration opportunities. And, and all three guys are very good at getting up and down the floor, and, and Jordan's a key part of that. He also had the first bucket in the overtime period. It was a very athletic move and finish, uh, getting to the rim. Uh, there were a couple other times in key stretches of the game when he was able to get to the rim because of his quickness, and, and we rely heavily on that. Well, fantastic. Well, you guys have now played six games in your Great Northwest Athletic Conference schedule. You guys are 4-2. and two. Pretty good right there. Right in the thick of the GNAC race. You guys actually stand alone in fourth place right now in the conference, which a third of the way through the season is pretty good, I, I'm assuming there, Coach. Well, obviously you'd like to be higher, but quite honestly, we're, we're pleased with, with what we've been able to do and to uh, find a way to win on the road and to... Uh, and to take care of home court for the most part. And so we want to continue to focus in, in doing that. It's a long season. Uh, we're going to continue to have a, a lot of tough battles, obviously. And, and you know, the conference is so good, you may never win another game. Or you could put together a string and, and like some other teams are doing. And so we're, we're focusing, we're working really hard to take just one game at a time and then see how it settles. But uh, very pleased with our progress so far. And I'd actually like to hear a little bit from Jordan here. I know the coach always, they're always going to repeat your words, but just like to hear a little bit from Jordan, what he feels are some of the keys for the Wolves to continue the success they've had early in the GNAC season. Um, right now, we just need to keep getting better. Uh, like I, we said, the conference is a good conference. Every team's good. We beat some top teams in conference, and what we need to do is keep improving every day and just come into play. You guys will be up there at Lacey Washington and take on St. Martin's. Talk to me a little bit about, have you heard anything about that team? Um, do you know anything about them? And what are you guys going to need to do to prepare to win a game tomorrow night, especially playing three games in six days? They're a tough team. They play well at home. They're 3-3 uh, three and three in conference, but they haven't been blown out. Every game has been close. Um, we just need to uh, play our game, um, rebound, execute. Yeah. Fantastic. And we know that you guys always have a very good battle against St. Martins. Last year, the first game went into overtime. You guys won. We were able to pull it out at St. Martins by three points. And then last year at home, another three-point victory. But not taking anything for granted on the victory side, you guys have just always played close games against St. Martins since I've been here. Yes, it's always a grind with St. Martins. We know their program very well, they being our travel partner. We have opportunities early in some different tournaments to see each other. And so uh, we're very familiar with each other. And, uh, and that helps uh, keep the games close and competitive, definitely. Uh, they are a much improved team over last year, and I think we're an improved team over last year, so it should be a good battle and it'll be a great one to see on TV. And as you mentioned right there, the uniqueness of this game. The GNAC this season has been able to enter into an agreement with Fox Sports Northwest and able to get nine of our conference games actually on television this year. You guys against St. Martins are the second game of this package. You guys will be playing on Tuesday night, unique that way, but you know, they always say television controls it a little bit. On Tuesday night, January 11th at 7 p.m. at St. Martins. Just, just a big game for the opportunities, both for the conference and Western Oregon University, to just kind of spread this is Wolves basketball throughout the Northwest. Exactly, and we're not going to do anything special, we're just going to do what we do, but it's an opportunity to showcase our talents and, and how well our players can do and uh, to let people other than just uh, the ones in Monmouth see that. Well, fantastic. Well, we hope everybody has a chance to tune in that game here locally in Monmouth. It comes on on Channel 28 in most cases, and but Fox Sports Northwest is everywhere, and this game will be shown on stations throughout the Northwest starting tomorrow at 7 p.m. So we hope you all can catch that game. And Coach Stanger, thank you for joining me on this thank edition you. of Wolves Weekly. You bet.